We all need to be good stewards, whether you minister at St. Thomas More or in the community. Take a moment to think, how are you a good steward? How are you involved with your parish? Uh Uh-oh, here we go again. I hope I don't get dropped. God wants us to give our gifts to others. He doesn't give us gifts to hoard. He gives us gifts to share. My children have graduated. I've done my time. My children are grown, but I really miss being around young people. Maybe I can share my time and faith with the young people in the parish. I don't have time. My children keep me so busy. Some people think that if they use their gifts for others, they'll be stuck doing so over and over again forever and ever. That's why some people don't get involved in ministry. But it's not true. You're the one that chooses the ministry. You can pick a ministry that fits your schedule and that you enjoy. Since I always go to Mass on Sunday, I decided to become a Eucharistic minister. I'd like to be a Eucharistic minister, but am I worthy? Everybody's worthy, Joe. What do you do to show Jesus that you love him? I don't have any special skills, but I love to talk to people. I wonder what ministry I can get involved with. I enjoy being able to visit with people at the nursing home or at home through pastoral care. They have such wonderful stories, and I love to see the smile on their faces when they talk about their past. I'm able to help people just by listening and talking to them. People involved in volunteering their time and talent will tell you that they usually receive much more than they give. Since Jesus is no longer on earth, you must be his hands and feet. I'd love to work at the soup kitchen, but I really don't know how to cook for so many people. It's a team effort at the soup kitchen. You just have to be willing to help. I'm glad that all of our ministries don't need special skills or college degrees and that we work with new people to help them learn what they need to do. Huh? Huh? Uh, And with your spirit. Over the next week, think of how you can be Christ's hands and feet on earth. Hey, were you listening to Father Mike? How are you going to give? Yes, Bob. The ball is in your hands. What are you going to do? So, how did you get involved with the Boy Scouts? I started in the ministry when my son was younger, out of a sense of obligation, but I ended up really enjoying working with the Scouts. It was amazing to watch them transform from kids into young adults. Wasn't it hard being involved in scouting and the school? One of the other things I liked about the scouting program was the family atmosphere and the fact that it's also very connected with the school and the church. We were able to meet many great families that we're still friends with. What ministry are you involved with? I join the Environment and Art Ministry. I always decorate my house for the holidays, so I decided why not help decorate the church? I love seeing the expression on the parishioners' faces when they walk through the door the next morning. Don't you need to have design or artistic skills? No. All you need is time, energy, and willingness to help. That's all you need to become a valuable part of this ministry. I'm honored to be a member. I remember at the parish where I grew up, Sister Cecilia always told us that when we sang, it was like praying twice. I enjoyed singing in the choir so much when I was younger, but I'm really rusty at reading music. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. We meet once a week. Why don't you join us for a practice and give us a try? Thanks. I think I will. So, I see you decided to carry the ball, and you and your family are now greeters. We are, Father. This is a lot of fun. I've gotten to talk to and meet so many new people. I guess I hit it out of the park, Father. Good for you, Bob. Now I'm in your hands. Don't drop me. What do you like to do? What are you passionate about? 
You can sign up for any ministry in the parish office, or you can get the contact information of any ministry chairperson in the bulletin or the ministry directory and call them yourself. Then you can attend a meeting or event and see if that ministry is a good fit for you.